Hello. So good to see you all today. It is Friday. I am not here, but I wanted to leave you with this video of some yoga practice if you feel like you need a good distraction, a healthy distraction. This is the place to be. So I am uh, I'm off today. Well, I was working this morning, but I'm off to the big city. And I'm going to the 9-11 memorial. Um, it's not an anniversary, obviously, or anything like that. But I haven't been yet since I've moved to New York. And I really want to check it out. And I thought today was a good day to do that. Lots of distractions, and then next week we can get back to real life after this weekend of lots of energy and activity, whether it's energy that uh, is negative or positive. Maybe next week we can move into a different space and get through all of this together. So hands down on your knees, we'll just take some little circles to start. We'll revisit some of the things that we've done this week with our yoga practice, if you've been practicing with me. And I'm not going to be doing this anymore after today. I might do it here and there, but it's not going to be a regular thing. And all of the videos have been posted on my wall, so if you just scroll down, you will see them. And switch sides, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Inhale, exhale. Maybe close your eyes. Sit up tall. Inhale forward, exhale, round your spine. Forward so that your chest is coming through the gates of your arms. Chin to chest, round your spine. And sit up tall. Take your hands like so. Thumbs are behind you, fingers in front. And you're just going to inhale left, exhale right. Sitting up tall. Stomach is in. Grounded on the floor. We're not rounding in the spine. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Heating up. Gonna do some lots of core work. We're working on our power center. This is the place of all where all of our power comes from, and we're gonna need a lot of power to get through the next several days. Let's first come on to hands and knees. Kind of looks like this. Knees underneath hips, hands under shoulders. Inhale, exhale, moving fast. back to neutral spine and we'll press back downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet one at a time. Long, slow and deep breaths as you pedal your feet. Bring your right leg up to the sky. Step it through in between your two hands and take knee down lunge. We've been doing this a lot this week. We're going to come up a little higher now in our knee down lunge. Take your hands to your front knee, elbows into the body, heart lifts, chin parallel to the floor. Maybe close the eyes. Hands down, all fours, other foot forward, knee over ankle, Opposite knee, back behind you. You're not on the kneecap, you're in front of it. Find your balance and then hands interlace over the knee. Heart lifts, chin parallel to the floor, eyes closed, nasal breathing. Let's 
step back down dog. Once again, bring your foot forward. This time, keep one hand down, lift the other up, back, bending, heart lifts. It's like your shoulders are one on top of the other here. And then if your neck is healthy, you can look up. Make sure your bottom knee stays, or your forward knee, stays close to the body. Step back all fours, and then the other side. Right hand down or left, either way. Remember, this knee stays close to the body, shoulders over one another. Downward facing dog. We're going to heat it up again, so you're inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hold downward facing dog. Bring your right foot through. Keep your left hand down. This time your back knee is not on the floor. It's up. You can certainly keep it on the floor if that's easier for you. Shoulder over shoulder twist. You can stay right here or maybe take your bottom hand up off the floor and find a prayer twist. Keep the prayer close to the heart, this time elbow over elbow instead of shoulder over shoulder, maybe looking up over the elbows. Nasal breathing calm, step back, downward facing dog. Other side, come right away into your twist, shoulder over shoulder, nasal breathing. Stay here or find your prayer twist. Downward facing dog. And then we're going to just step to the middle of the mat. I figured out how to work my camera so you guys could see my whole body. <laughs> It's called lifting a tripod up. So you can take your feet about three and a half feet apart, unless you're a taller person, and then you'll take them so that when your hands are out, you can look down and see your ankles are under your wrists, okay? Then, we're going to take our hands over our head. This is called the Jupiter lock, or interlacing. And you're just going to take some squats. We're going to do 20 squats. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, make sure your knees track right over your ankles, fifteen, And then just fold forward, let it go. Stomach pulls in. Let your head go down. Relax. And we'll take both hands in the middle, right underneath your heart. Left hand stays, right arm up. Keep your hips square. Little twist. You can look up towards your hand. And then switch. Very carefully, just come back onto your knees. We're standing on our knees. We're going to reach up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Give yourself a hug. Bow all the way down, forehead to the floor. Ten of these. This is two. Inhale. Four. Five. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Giving ourselves 
some love. Last time, sit down, left hand over your heart, right hand over the top. Just feel. Feel your heart beating. Breathe through your nose. little short practice today. We're going to all come to a comfortable seat. So you can stay on your knees or you can sit in easy style, also known as crisscross applesauce. We're going to take a little very short meditation. So in the Kundalini Yoga tradition, this is called the Sat Kriya, and you're going to take your hands, interlace all ten fingers, and um, do the steeple mudra. So the, the um, index fingers are up. Can you see that? And if this is too much, you can just cross your hands here. You're going to pull your shoulder blades down your back, and you're going to be doing a breath with your meditation and a mantra. A mantra is a saying or something that can help you divert your attention. This one's Sat Nam. And when you say Sat, you're going to inhale and bring your belly button back. Nam. Let it relax. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. We'll do it quietly to ourselves. You keep your belly moving. That's how you get that nice ab going for uh, springtime and summer. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. It's okay to smile. Hands back to prayer at your heart. Stay in a comfortable seat. I get itchy in yoga. <laughs> it's been my absolute pleasure to be with you. I love you all. A little saying that I like to say at the end of my yoga class. I'm just going to get close so you can see my face. Take your thumbs up to the third eye. The place between your two eyes and then up about a half inch. My soul recognizes your soul. I honor the light, love, beauty, truth, kindness in you because it is also in me. In sharing these things, there is no distance or difference between us. We are the same. We are one. Namaste. Have a great rest of your day.